Hello, this is Kenzie, the tiny lady with the tiny apartment in Colorado. And today we are going to learn how to soil propagate a Christmas cactus using Christmas cactus clippings. Uh, this same method will also work for the Thanksgiving cactus clippings. It's virtually the same process. So these clippings that I have today uh, actually came from my mother-in-law so uh, I'm kind of working with what I'm getting today rather than what I would actually uh, clip myself so I'll show you what we're doing when you twist these off of a plant down at the point say you have one of these on the plant you want to twist it so that it breaks off but you typically want at least three sections on one of these. This one's a little too small, uh, in my opinion. Um, I think this one might do a lot better. It has more to it. But you want at least three, three or four sections on it for it to uh, proper, propagate properly. Um, and you want a soil mixture that drains well. So maybe a sand mixture or a perlite mixture and uh, the other thing that you need to do when you are uh, doing propagation using clippings, you want these to heal over, so to sit out and dry for a day or two. But if you're not going to let them sit out and dry for uh, a day or two, you can just put them directly in soil, dry soil, not moist soil. So I'm going to show you the dry method today, okay? So you want to take these, make sure your soil is in there good, it's not too loose. And you want to take the tip, press it down about halfway into that soil. Now you don't want to do any more than halfway because you don't want to rot out anything that's in the soil. So about halfway is, is really good. Um, if you're going to do this dry method like I'm doing today, go back and water it in maybe two days but if your clippings have already been sitting out for two days then you can go ahead and water this plant you don't want to overwater it uh, just make sure the soil is moist and this will take mm, maybe a few weeks to see some roots show up and then once you've got some decent roots on there you can take it and transplant it if you want or you can wait a while and then transplant it until it's got some really hefty roots going but it's really as simple as this uh, as again I'm I'm going to tell you these are not my ideal clippings this is just kind of what I got today from my mother-in-law um, but we'll see how these ones do even though they're a little small But it's as easy as that and just keep it moist uh, do not waterlog it and keep it in a soil that drains well and until next time for the love of plants <laughs>